Thank you very much. Uh, I'm briefly uh, presenting children uh, diagnosed with HIV on antiretroviral therapy, the family caregivers' experience and the treatment outcomes in Ethiopia. Uh, Professor Inger Hallström is my uh, main supervisor. So just to give you a very brief uh, background about child HIV uh, epidemiology, uh, globally about 1.7 million children are expected to live with HIV at the end of 2018. 80% of them are living in sub-Saharan African countries. Only half of them are access for uh, HIV treatment. In Ethiopia, about 65,000 uh, children are expected to live with HIV at the end of 2016, of which below the global average, only 40% of them are accessed the treatment. It is evidenced that without HIV treatment, that is ART, without ART treatment, 50% uh, and 80% of children will die at, uh, before, I mean, uh, second and fifth uh, birthday, uh, respectively, despite the access of uh, ART treatment improves the, dramatically the survival of children and adolescents, uh, ART advance and retention in care is remaining challenge. So the rationale behind to have this study was due to limited knowledge on family caregivers' experience as well as child treatment outcomes. So the overall aim of this uh, research was to contribute to the improvement of uh, uh, care for children in ART through illuminate the family caregivers' uh, lived experience and uh, assess the treatment outcomes in ART. So, mixed approach, the mixed method approach was followed to provide a broader picture and a deeper understanding and a longer Tudinal study with, uh, with uh, uh, inductive qualitative and quantitative prospective court approach was followed. So we have uh, conducted this research in Ethiopia in uh, two bigger regions in Oromia and Addis Ababa. These are the regions, the name of regions. We selected eight health facilities in Ethiopia based on the high burden of uh, uh, and the great load of HIV positive patients, both adults and the children were following in these health facilities. So as this research was a co collaborative re research between in Lund University and Addis Ababa, so we obtained ethical clearance from both uh, from Swedish Regional Ethics Board and at different levels in Ethiopia. In terms of uh, when we come to findings, uh, the, 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 wa, wa, in two categories, the first type of study was that uh, we uh, assessed the family caregivers' experience and the other is the treatment outcomes. That the family caregivers' experience was uh, investigated during the child treatment initiation and after the two years of child on treatment. In the beginning of treatment initiation, uh, the family caregivers were found to be surviving the overwhelming challenge because uh, there are some five uh, subtemps uh, under this broader uh, surviving overwhelming challenge. The first one is committed caregiving. Uh, the family caregivers were committed to provide the care for the child because of they, they, they have uh, uh, hope on treatment ART. Hope also the, 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 the passionate and the compassionate care and the support coming from the healthcare providers which uh, supported them to be committed. But in the beginning of treatment initiation, the family caregivers were uh, in a situation of breaking family life because of the situation that the child is diagnosed with HIV, because of the frustration. Also, they were experiencing caring burdens that's coming from mental and the physical burdens. And they were also conflicting, I mean, confronting conflicts because of the repeated questions coming from the child uh, and the, the, the anticipated stigma. And the family caregivers were living with worry because of the anticipated stigma and the child uh, uh, unknown feature of the child that the uncertainty condition were uh, leaving them uh, with worry. After two years of ART initiation, the family caregivers were, uh, were found to be in a situation of medication gives hope, but still they were, they were still experiencing fear of 
stigma. The medication, the hope that coming from because of healthy child, normality in life, change in, in medication that brought the child to be very healthy, this situation gives the family caregivers to be hopeful, but still the, the stigma and the discrimination that uh, put them in an uncertain condition. Uh, also, the child disclosure was one of the uh, challenging situations that uh, persist until the two years. In terms of treatment adherence, after the, uh, uh, after the first month of treatment initiation, uh, more than 90% of children were found, found to be adherent. However, the, the factors, including children of caregivers on ART and the care themselves, children on type of treatment regimen, Caregivers did not use a medication rem reminder, and uh, th this, these factors were actually uh, prominently predicting the child treatment adherence and forget forgetfulness accounts about 46% for missing doses. On the other hand, attrition, that is both loss to follow up plus uh, death. So 24 attrition was observed at the end of uh, 12 months follow-up, which including loss to follow-up and the death, from which 18 were lost to follow-up. Six reported deaths, of course 50% of loss to follow-up were considered to be died. Younger children aged below three years, children with anemia, children coming from rural area, these were prominent factors uh, or predicting the attrition, advanced disease and the anemia had increased risk in death. Family caregivers, sorry. So family caregivers were overwhelmed with, this is the conclusion, overwhelmed with challenge but also committed. Medications gives hope but challenge continued due to stigma and discrimination. ART adherence uh, were uh, the, the factors which predicting the ART adherence were caregivers not use a medication reminder. Caregivers were undergoing ART and the care themselves. And the treatment regimen, the kind of protest inhibitor, avacover based treatment regimens were, these were the prominent factors which were predicting the child's uh, adherence. On the other hand, high risk of attrition among children was observed among children below age three years and those children coming from rural areas. And finally, the advanced stage of disease and with anemia at baseline were uh, prominent factors which were uh, affecting the attrition. Thank you very much.